Hey YouTubers, I don't have a script or anything, this is just off the cuff. I was just thinking, what are the things that we're going to miss? Now a little bit of background, um, just, just in case uh, you're one of the people who are kind of new to the preparedness movement, um, there's obviously most people know that we're in a recession now and heading really fast for a depression. Um, I've been aware of it for like since November of 2007 so I've been stressing out about it for about well over a year <laughs> warning my co-workers saying we're in it we're gonna go into a depression and, and they were all they'd be always mocking me um, and some of them would like pretend to flap their wings and say the sky is falling it's chicken little <laughs> and now recently um, when they're like watching the news during break and they're uh, and they're all uh, and, and the news is like oh dire economic times stores closing Merrill Lynch is bankrupt oh and AIG's uh, and you know it, the list goes on and nowadays when I uh, when I get a chance I sometimes sort of mockingly act the way they acted toward me before and say ah! There's no depression. No, there's no economic problem. They're paranoid, and <laughs> and they understand. Uh, my coworkers understand now what's going on, and they're periodically they say, "Ah, thanks, thanks for that." <laughs> so they have acknowledged uh, that they uh, were wrong, and I was right. Not that I really want to be right. So in any case, I was just. I, every day I go through my daily affairs and 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 I think about what I use and what I'm what what materials I'm using like at work especially parts I fix buses for a living hello um, how can I how could I if if the economy was tighter how could I afford to use or get by without using a new part how can I take two broken parts and make one good part out of them <laughs> because the time is rapidly approaching when we're gonna have to be doing stuff like that so on top of that um, what in my daily life do I uh, do I use um, every day that I will not be able to replace when things get bad or if I can replace them it'll be real expensive uh, one example is my glasses you can probably see these things. I had a nasty cataract in my left eye about two years ago and had it uh, had it removed and I have a corrective lens in there but uh, it's now a little bit farsighted. But in any case in my work I tend to go through glasses just horribly. I mean they'd smash off my face. I'm pulling a wrench and, and it hits me in the face and the glasses break. Hello. And nowadays glasses are made out of like aluminum foil and scotch tape. I mean if you look at them wrong they'll break. But these they're safety glasses. Now they might not really look at it. They have kind of a substantial frame to them uh, but they don't really look you know hideously safety. <laughs> Although I do have the little side shields for them and everything which is like critical if you're going to use them in a truck repair shop. You know. Well anyway so I got a couple of these, and um, these things are not bulletproof, but they are way more rugged than uh, regular glasses. So I would recommend, if you, especially if you can't drive without glasses, um, I would recommend going to the optometrist um, if your plan or whatever has uh, has glasses on it. I would recommend. Uh, getting uh, a pair of these or say can I look at the safety glasses frames and uh, and basically you'll see them and they're all you know they're not ugly well some of them are but the the ones that you can select you know look fairly normal I would uh, definitely consider that and they're not they're not any more expensive than normal frames but they are a whole lot more rugged so if you have glasses uh, I would get a couple extra pairs first and second, I would uh, definitely pick up safety glasses. In fact, my plan didn't cover frames. I had to pay cash for these, but that's okay. I make enough 
so uh, so I can afford an extra pair of frames. The time may come when I can't, so uh, I'm getting ready. So another thing, uh, one thing I like to eat at work, um, for example, I, I have, like when I take my lunches to work, uh, let me see here. As I was saying, I make good money, but um, planning ahead, um, get used to eating beans and rice. And this is like uh, regular, regular pinto beans with uh, chicken bouillon. I think I made a video about this, and uh, I put a little bit of cheese on top. And uh, once you just throw it in the microwave, and it nukes up to a, it's actually really tasty. And the thing is, um, if you get used to eating things like this, beans and rice. Uh, now, you won't, uh, you won't be suffering when the bad times come. Uh, for example, when I first started eating them, if I had like started eating them big time, I would have had tremendous gas. And I had a little bit of gas, but uh, then over, I just sort of ramped up to it slowly and my body began to produce the enzymes necessary to break down beans and rice and now something about the taste of them has changed too. Instead of tasting like something that's not really even food, it tastes, the beans are starting to taste a lot like meat. Uh, not like, not in a bad way, but that, that same sort of savory taste that meat sort of produces. So uh, although they definitely taste like beans, they are they've become much more tasty as my system has gotten used to it. I don't think it's my imagination. But anyway, I've got like six gallon buckets, uh, yay big, packed with brown rice and I've got more of them with beans and wheat so I can like make my bread and everything. But um, sometimes you like to have a little bit better than like survival rations. And at Winco, they sell this stuff. It's called, uh, it's in the bulk section, it's called the Bistro Rice Mix. I can't, I don't know how to pronounce it, but it's got, it's got uh, brown rice, it's got red rice, uh, it has wild rice, and it has hard red wheat in there. I could probably put something like this together, but this is all ready made. This is about 10 bucks worth of rice right here. This is, it's kind of high-end stuff, but it's really tasty and it, it I would and it's kind of a luxury you know so I would uh, I would be tempted to uh, save some of this stuff for when times get bad so that's what I do I buy extra of this stuff then I throw it in little little bags like this 